What fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of a clock turn through when it goes from? So we have all these you know, parts of this question. And for those of you who haven't watched the previous you know, series of videos related to the same topic, I mean, that, I mean the question that we are going to discuss here or solve here, uh, the theory of all these questions have been discussed you know, previously in the series of videos. So if you haven't watched those videos, then I request you, request you to please go and to the playlist and watch those videos first and then you can understand this question properly. And for those of you who uh, have you know watched those videos, so let's begin. So let's say that we have a clock here, we have a clock here and it's something like this. Okay, and we have, here we have 12, here we have 3, and 6, and then 9. Then we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay, so it's a rough diagram of a clock and let's say that for the first one the hour hand of this clock moves from 3 to 9 so if this is our hour hand it is at 3 and it moves from 3 to 9 so it It's finally here after taking a rotation, you know, movement. It turns through and it's very clear that it's a straight angle. And straight angle is actually two right angles, right? And we know that when the hour hand rotates through one right angle, then it makes one by four revolution we know this thing and that's why i said that those of you who haven't watched the previous videos so please go to, i mean you should go to the playlist and watch those videos first so if it moves from three to six if it rotates through one right angle that is the hour hand points at six then it makes first right angle and then it makes second right angle and therefore this is a straight angle 3 to 9 and if it rotates through only one right angle then it, it makes uh, 1 by 4 revolution and if it makes two right angles it makes 1 by 2 revolution because 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 2 times 1 by 4 will be 1 by 2 revolution. Because the full revolution will be when this 3 starts and rotates through and comes again back to this position, the initial position. That would be the full revolution. So the what fraction? So this is the fraction. It is, it's 1 by 2 of the revolution. This is the first one. Let's remove this. Okay. Now it's for 4 to 7. Your hour hand was at 4, your hour hand was at 4, so this is the center and it's saying that it's at 4, okay, now you know that if it starts from 4, from this position and takes a full rotation and comes back to this position, that's one complete revolution for this hour hand, that is when it's pointing at 4. But if it has to move by one right angle, that is if it jumps from 4 to 5, then 5 to 6, then 6 to 7, that's what it's asking here. 
really if it comes here if it comes here 4 to 7 then of course it's making one right angle it's making one right angle if it was I mean if it again rotates from 7 to 10 then 1 2 3 and this will make a straight angle and this will be the rotation to two right angles those of you who are getting confused just imagine if your our hand was at say at 12 so what would be first right angle rotation so if this our hand comes at 3 so 12 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 that it, it has to take three jumps from 12 to 1 then 1 to 2 then to 3 so it means that it has to travel through three intervals then it it will make a right angle right so similarly we can say that in this case in this case when it is taking three jumps that is one two and three and finally your our hand rotates through five six and finally it comes at seven it's making one right angle and that's what four to seven is so you, we know that for one right angle for one right angle the revolution is one by four revolution again always remember if the our hand moves by three numbers it rotates and it rotates through three numbers and crossing three numbers first second and finally jumps at three not crossing through three numbers but finally when it comes at the third number then that will be one right angle then again you count first two one two and three that will be the third uh, second right angle and again one two three that will be third right angle rotation through three right angles and one two and back to bang to the original position that's a complete revolution okay now it's for i mean we have done we have seen for 3 to 9, 4 to 7. It's time for it's time for 7 to 10. Again, your our hand is at at 7. That's here. It moves through first interval that is 7 to 8. Then second interval 8 to 9. And then it comes lands at the third number. Right, so it takes travels through three intervals: first interval, second interval, and three third interval. So if it travels by three intervals, it means that it has taken one right angle. It has taken one right angle, and when the our hand moves through one right angle, it means that it has taken a 1 by 4 revolution okay now it's turn for we are done with this we are done with this we are done with this it's time for 12 to 9 and for 12 to 9 it means that the original position of your our hand is at is at this position that is here and it's saying that it first moved from 12 to 1 1 to 2 and then to 2 to 3 it means that when it is at 3 it has taken one right angle but it has to go all up to 9 so then again it moves from 3 to 4 so another one interval then 4 to 5, another 1 interval, and 5 to 6. So, if your our hand is here, it's it has actually taken two right angles, it has rotated through two right angles, that is first and the second. It has to go up to 9. If, you, if your our hand again travels, rotates through first interval, second interval, and bang, to the third interval where the question has been asked for. At this position, it's the third right angle that you, our hand has rotated through. So this was the first, this is second, this is the third. 
So we know that for if your our hand rotates through three right angles, then the revolution that it has, you know, it has rotated through is actually three by four revolution. Okay. We are done with this. Then it is one to ten. So let me remove all this, all this. It's saying that your odd hand is at initial position one. So this is the initial position and it has to it has to rotate through all these numbers and finally it has to land at this 10 so it takes first interval second interval and third interval so if it comes at 4 then it has rotated through one right angle then again it takes one interval two interval and three interval so it has it has come here it has rotated by again by a uh, one more right angle then it takes one more journey that is from 7 to 8 first interval 8 to 9 second interval and 9 to 10 that's a third interval so your our hand has come here so it's a third right angle that it, it's taking so the first right angle second right angle and third right angle and three right angles means your revolution is actually 3 by 4 revolution. We're done with this and then 6 to 3. So for 6 to 3, if your, if your our hand is here at this position, and first interval, second interval, third interval, it will be here. And if it lands at 9, then it has rotated through one right angle. Then again, one interval, two interval, and bang, third interval, it will come here. So it has taken another right angle. And again, one interval, two interval, and three interval. That's it's asking that it has to come at three. So we are find here. It's a third right angle that your our hand has rotated through. For three right angles, it's always three by four revolution. <laughs>